Today we take a look at the voice controlled welding helmet. So it does come with a lens guard. We've got a charging cable, it's USB A to USB C. And we have got the helmet, Emily Smart Welding Helmet. So the first thing I'm noticing is this nice thick rubber pad that they got on the back. It has the logo on it, but that is something you do not normally get with a welding helmet. We do have a lens cover on the inside. We also have a test button so that we can make sure that that works. We've got our sensitivity dial and we got our delay dial. And it looks like this is gonna be our battery compartment so that we can easily replace those batteries. And that is a CR2032. And it looks like the rear panel is held on with a couple of Phillips screws. So if you wanna remove that, you would just undo those. On the top, we got our controller, so we got our on-off switch, we got our charge indicator, and we got our power port. I'm Emily, an intelligent mass. If you need to open or close it, please tell me please open or close it. Interesting. Please open. Okay. <laughs> That's pretty wild. Please close. Okay. Wow. So I think I could have probably done without the voice, but uh, I mean, if you've never used it before and you need to know what the controls are, it is actually pretty neat. Please open. Okay. <laughs> Check that out. That's cool. Okay, so one thing I can't see right here, there is a lip going on the inside. So that's important because when you're getting a lot of bright flashes on you, if you have any kind of a light leak, that's going to make it harder to see what you're actually doing. So this is actually going to cover that up. Please close. Okay. Yeah. That looks like that's gonna make a good seal. Gonna have to test that to make sure, but I would not be surprised if that worked perfectly fine. And we got our darkness adjust right here on the left. So the one thing that's a little odd to me is if this was a fixed lens, so if this was a shade 10 all the time, so if you prefer that, there are a lot of welders that prefer that. I usually go with the auto darkening just like this. With the auto darkening, you don't really need this thing to open and close because you're gonna be able to look through that lens and see what you're doing. The only thing I can really think of where this might actually be useful if you're in a really dark environment to the point where even just the shade that is gonna be in there without it being darkened that is going to be too much to make it so that you can't really see so if you need to have absolutely clear vision you have that option please open okay. so you'll actually be able to see that you won't even have to do anything with your hands you don't have to rock your head back you won't have to do any kind of weird stuff you'll have the helmet do everything for you it gives me kind of a uh, like an iron man vibe to it please close okay. that is really cool I mean, the main thing for me is just the novelty. Like, this is going to be one of those things where you're going to be, like, you go to the shop, you're going to be able to show off with this. There is no way that you can have a helmet that opens up automatically that other people aren't going to be intrigued by. So that thing has a surprisingly clear view on it. The lens that they use is excellent. So it's not one of those green ones. It actually looks kind of bluish. So it looks more true to life. So it's definitely a really nice lens. I didn't see any light peeking around the corners. I could actually see what I was doing. This is probably one of the nicer helmets that I have right now. Again, the, the action, please close. It's kind of a novelty, but it also is pretty darn cool. So yeah, overall, I am very happy with that helmet.